Lieutenant George and I heard some sort of a of a screech and it sounded like a, a fox so my camera was already attached to the tripod with my silly little skit yesterday so I just grabbed my camera and the tripod the whole works and uh, came over here to see what was going on and I walked all the way in through there because it sounded like it was hugging the bog across the road for me hugging the bog so that branch is in the way so I came it's a hellhole down and through there all kinds of underbrush and it's, Today is not a good day to get a slap in the face with a branch because it's awfully cold out. So I was walking all in through there and then I came across uh, tracks, old tracks. And but this this snow here where it's so cold and it is so cold, it's any small animal can can walk right on top of the snow. So a couple of days ago, I thought I was missing a guinea, but it's pretty hard to keep track of them. So let me show you what I found. So there's a guinea right there. I'm not sure what happened. So, I don't know if it flew down and broke its neck, but that's one of the older guineas, so I am i don't know if it just died, or if it, I, something got after it, and in its, in its frantic state, it... I don't know, I just don't know. Maybe it died of shock. But, if you look over here, there's the guinea. And right there, right there, it looks like something curled up and, and slept there. So I'm not really sure if somebody knows, somebody has a, a theory. I don't know why something would sleep there and leave the guinea intact there. See, there's a nice little, nice little cavern right in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, looks like something's bedded down, was bedded down in there, so I'm not really sure. But here's the guinea, as you can see, it's got a, it's froze stiff, it's froze stiff. So I can't tell if the neck was broken. But I was missing a guinea four days ago, so why anything would unless it died of natural causes and then it froze stiff before the other cold snap I'm not really sure but there's a whole guinea that I can't do anything with so I know of somebody that may want a guinea skeleton because that's about all it's good for right now there might be some feathers on there but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do anything with this what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it frozen and then I'm going to ask the person that may want the skeleton so see if they want it Alright, 
this is what you get. You know, I free range and it may have it may have been scared by I have eagles, I have owls, I have hawks. It or a bobcat could have climbed a tree and scared it out of the tree and it went flying and it could have because they can't see good at night. But they've been going in the coop, so I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. But they can't see good at night at all. They fly blind. So it may have died of shock. It may have flew into a tree and just came down. Yeah. See? That tree right there, right there, it could have hit that and broke its neck because it was right at the bottom of it. So who knows? Who knows what really happened? It is so cold out. It, it's, uh, I think, minus four right now. But that wind is just whipping, so it's got to be, it's got to be close to 10 or 15 below. But, all right, I'm going to go in where it's warm. Maybe I'll make some bread.